Welcome back. Hope everyone's been having a great day so far. Today we're just taking the time to talk a little bit about Ripple and XRP, along with some interesting news that came from Egypt's central bank themselves, but we'll get to that part a little bit later during the video. Let's take, first take a look at this very interesting article that popped up today. The headline reads, Ripple teases XRP-based next generation trading platform. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the article is essentially the headline of the article is essentially saying that it is a speculation rather than something that is 100 percent guaranteed now speculation essentially came up as ripple posted a job offering that reads we're looking for an engineering manager to lead and shape the team responsible for odl customer experience integration into our next generation uh, trading platform and be a critical part of defining the future trajectory of on-demand liquidity and RippleNet. The key thing to take from this is the next generation trading platform part. As we're all very familiar and have most likely used Binance at, the, at some point in our lives, Binance has BNB which essentially lowers the fees of the transactions which has essentially boosted the demand for BNB and technically um, has increased the BNB price over time because that demand is there. Now, I'm not saying that this platform trading platform by Ripple would essentially be exactly the same as Binance and how Binance uses uh, BNB. And I'm not saying that it would have the exact same outcome. However, based on how this reads, they would essentially be using XRP to fuel that trading platform, which should in theory um, have higher demand for XRP as well as higher use case for the XRP token itself. Um, again, I'm not saying that it's going to have the exact same outcome, but if it if it is like it reads, it would be used for everything, uh, essentially for a, most likely everything for the trading platform. Obviously, there's no details on this yet, but as more comes out, I would definitely um, keep you all updated and keep myself updated as well, because this is something that can definitely help uh, benefit us as XRP token holders, especially in the near future or in the future to come, depending on how everything is integrated. I would assume that it would be somewhat similar to how BNB is with Binance, and in theory, that would again drive that demand for XRP and essentially drive that price up even higher. Now, that's that's um, that doesn't go without saying that XRP doesn't already have that demand and that use case because, as we know, and the article even mentions it. They have partners like MoneyGram, which use ODL. I believe last time I read uh, up on it, uh, MoneyGram had used roughly 10% of their transactions from US to Mexico were running through the ODL corridors. Now, I don't want to lead you guys astray, so I want to give you both sides to the coin. And this is going to be the next article. Now, this article is a little bit... Uh, uh, older February 26 2020 but the reason why I picked this one because the article that talks about what I'm about to talk about uh, really soon is a little bit older than this one so as you can see after that article came out MoneyGram still expanding with Ripple so nonetheless it's still great news and I mean I expect them to try different things because at the end of the day as a company owner I would assume that you want to exercise and um, look into different possibilities to see what actually benefits you the most which leads us to my next little topic here which is MoneyGram has actually unveiled a uh, a program called Fast Send. And it's a service allowing real-time money sending based on Visa. I believe, I don't know too much about it, uh, but I believe it's something that allows people to send um, money through phone, from phone to phone using specific um, programs and things like that, which is running based on Visa and not the Ripple and XRP. However, those news came before this news right here. So as you can see, regardless of them using Visa for that, plat for that program that they're I'm assuming testing out they're still expanding with ripple and xrp and just like i mentioned at the beginning of this specific article is that as a company owner i would assume that you want to exercise every possible um every possible situation every possible opportunity that can essentially benefit you greater so and to be quite realistic odl and moneygram and ripple is essentially they are partners but it's essentially technically still in the testing phases 
it's still something that is being tested and it's definitely something that is increasing in demand and it's something that um, Ripple is definitely benefiting them but they also want to check and see what other options there is and what potentially uh, yields them greater um, profit or greater um, yeah greater profit essentially because it's all about the profits you can make if if Visa can save them 10%, let's say I'm just throwing random numbers out there. If Visa can sa uh, save them 10%, but Ripple XRP can save them 15, they're obviously going to go with Ripple XRP because it's saving them the most. And I think that this is, again, it's still kind of in the testing phases. But as you can see, the partnership is still expanding, everything is still going. And I think that it is quite normal and uh, organic for moneygram to test out different options as well um but nonetheless uh, this brings us to our next article which i thought was quite interesting and the last article for this specific video egypt central bank right here we have it the uh the headline reads egypt central bank limits daily withdrawals to 640 dollars is crypto the answer now as we can scroll down essentially that's the main topic of this article um egypt essentially has limited users can only withdraw deposits of 640 US dollars and companies can withdraw roughly 3,200 US dollars uh, from ATMs and uh, the bank fees will be canceled in the country. So, excuse me, so I guess that's a little bit something positive. However, the thing that really, I guess, grinds my gears is that the fact that banks are able to limit how much you take out even though it's your own money, even though you're the person that put it in there in the first place. They're still, and this is nothing new by the way, but they're still essentially able to limit that. Um, this is something that New York banks have actually been experiencing um, shortages because some of the wealthier people have been taking a lot of the cash out, which would in theory most likely lead them to do something similar. However, don't quote me on that because I could be entirely wrong, but if they're experiencing shortages, I'm sure they're going to want to do something to prevent that. Now, this is something that also has happened, uh, something similar has happened in Italy as well back in December uh, of last year. Um, so as you can see, that really grinds my gears because it's crazy to think about the fact that if you put $100 in the bank today, tomorrow you can only cash out $25 like that makes completely no sense to me and I think this is why the times we live in regardless of how things are going regardless of you know the virus and all that that's going around I think that there's still little good news out there coming out regardless of uh, the overall big picture um, for example this right here shows us and it shows people because I think most of us in crypto have already um, been familiarized with this and have already have the mindset of like banks can definitely control what you put in and we want to take our money and actually be 100 percent ours because even though you put 100 dollars, it's essentially the bank's money because if they can limit how much you take out realistically it's it's kind of like they're loaning it to you now, obviously you're not paying fees on your money but it's essentially like they're loaning it to you because they're telling you oh no you can only take out 25 even though you put in 100 and i mean to me that's totally insane to think about but i think that a lot of people that are not into crypto a lot of people that um believe in banks strongly are slowly starting to see wait so they're not actually letting us take out our own money like that, that makes no sense and i think it's making these people realize that there is something has to change and there has to be some other alternatives and some of those alternatives again would be cryptocurrencies digital assets digital uh, currencies and obviously there could be other forms of it it doesn't necessarily have to be cryptocurrencies uh, but obviously cryptocurrencies have something that has been developing for years and years uh, not years and years sorry but for several years to come now and I think it's something that is slowly growing faster and this, people are starting to realize hey if I get into cryptocurrencies I actually own my money as opposed to the bank being able to hold it like if they want to take out hundred for example if we want to take out a hundred dollars tomorrow from our crypto wallet wherever it may be a ledger etc which i hope you guys have your cryptos in the ledger uh because if you have it in an exchange uh to be realistic and i think this is something that I've, i haven't heard being said but to be quite realistic if you have your crypto in an exchange it's essentially like having your money in a bank 
it's not exactly the same thing but it's realistically it's, it's essentially very similar so i would hope that you guys have your uh, cryptos in the ledger safely stored uh so it truly belongs to you um but nonetheless if we want to take out that hundred dollars we put in we can do that and there's nobody telling us hey you can't take out um you can only take out ten dollars uh, out of the hundred that you put in and i think that's something that is slowly starting to be realized as we move forward but nonetheless that pretty much does it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that subscribe button and catch the next episodes hit that thumbs up and definitely let me know in the comments below what you think especially about this you know because the ripple and xrp thing is something that i i personally strongly believe again this is my speculation so don't take it otherwise I strongly believe it's going to do well and I strongly believe that they're going to keep innovating. But about this specifically, like, what do you think of the bank being able to control how much you are able to withdraw? Definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely see you all in the next one.